What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Mad Ballers YouTube channel and some more Men 16 news today. EA Sports released the top five tight ends in Madden 16 and we're going to go ahead and go through their overalls and some of their attributes here and we'll start with number one a no doubter here Rob Gronkowski is the number one overall rated tight end in Madden 16 a 99 overall he has got to be one of the most consistent when he plays tight ends in the game he is a 99 overall He's 6'6", 265 pounds, and he has three of the top ratings among tight ends with 94 spectacular catch, 98 catch in traffic, and a 95 release. Gronk was hurt a couple years ago, and when he's healthy, he has to be rated the number one tight end. What do you think about that? Leave a comment down below. I think he's way ahead of the rest of the tight ends in the league and he also adds 94 catching in the game 82 speed so he's not the speediest tight end 87 acceleration 84 jump and 84 stiff arms so when when healthy there's no one better than rob gronkowski at tight end heading on to the number two spot we're gonna go, it is Jimmy Graham, the newest Seattle Seahawk, the trade in the offseason to Seattle. He comes in at a 95 overall. He weighs the same as Gronk, but he's an inch taller, and he's gonna have Russell Wilson throwing to him this season. He comes in at 95 overall. That is four points lower than Gronkowski, and I think this is a good rating because Gronkowski has made himself the elite tight end in the league. Some other ratings for Jimmy Graham here, a 92 catching, 90 spectacular, and 88 catch in traffic. Also, he's good to fight for the ball. He's got 85 speed, so he's speeder than Gronkowski. He's got 92 jumping, which is way higher than Gronkowski. He's good for the back of the end zone throw there. And he also has 87 route running and 88 release. So he's good off the ball. Last year was kind of a down year for Jimmy Graham, but he should be able to bounce back this year in a new spot. And we'll move to number three. It is the Dallas Cowboy, Jason Witten. The old tried and true Jason Witten comes in at a 93 overall and I think this is a good spot for Witten as well because he's been consistent for multiple seasons he's got a good quarterback with him Tony Romo and he is 6'6 263 and some other stats here he doesn't dazzle you but he's gonna get those catches and he's gonna get those yards and you're not even gonna notice it really I had him on my fantasy team last year ended up dropping him because I didn't even noticed that he was getting the catches here and there ended up dropping him oh he features a 95 catching so he's probably got the best catching among tight ends here I'll have to look and see as we get down the list here he's got 92 catch in traffic 88 route running 85 release and 79 spectacular catch so he's not gonna wow you with the type of catch he gets but he's gonna make the catch when you need it, when you need a third and six, you want to go to Jason Witten, and that is what he does. So Witten comes in at number three. We move on to number four, and it is Greg Olson, the Carolina Panther. He has really come into his own here in the last couple years. Last year was a pretty good season for Greg Olson. He's 6'5, 253 pounds. He's a 92 overall. And I think all these ratings in Madden and the top five tight ends are pretty good. We're down here. There's no super pack of elite tight ends. There's only one, and that's Gronkowski. Let's get back to Olsen, though. In the end zone, he's a good target for Cam Newton. He's got 89 catching. He's got 89 jumping, 88 spectacular catch, 88 release, and 87 catch in traffic. So Greg Olson has some pretty good ratings in a lot of categories. He can make the catches, he can uh, 
make a spectacular catch here and there. He can get off the line pretty good and he can catch the ball in traffic. So he's kind of a combination of the first three, just a little bit lower rated. So let me know what you think about Greg Olson here in the number four spot. We'll move to the number five spot and it is gonna be Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chief comes in number five with a 91 overall. And a lot of people might not even know who this guy is or you just heard about him last year. He's actually, his rankings are up quite a bit. I believe he finished, he passed 14 other tight ends in the final ratings in Madden 15. So they have really given him a lot here. And I think maybe he does deserve it, but maybe he doesn't here. There's a lot of other players you can consider here in the number five spot as far as tight ends go. He's 6'5", 260. And last year, he really broke out kind of. And I had this guy in my fantasy team as well last year. He has 89 catching, 89 jumping, 88 spectacular catch, 87 catch in traffic, 88 release, and 81 route running. He also features 85 run block which is the best among the top tight ends. So he can be hit or miss, really. That's what he was last year. So I think he could have put anybody here in the top, in the fifth spot here. So let me know down below, what do you think about the top five tight ends in Madden 16? Do you think it should be different? Should these be in different spots? Or should someone be left out and someone else put in? One little note here, Julius Thomas not in the top five he was a denver if he was a denver bronco would he be in the top five i think he would he obviously went to jacksonville for the money but he's not in the top five now he doesn't have peyton manning throw him throwing to him he has blake Bortles throwing to him so he's one that could have been here maybe but maybe he was his ratings were inflated because of manning that could be who else could be in here leave your comment down below letting me know who you think should be on the top five and what order it should be in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you're notified of all the new Men 16 news and all my new videos on the channel. You can follow me over on Twitter as well, at Ballers. I update there as well when new videos will be out and some other stuff as well. So until the next video, guys, we'll see you later.